Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I could not be happier with the video I'm making today, but first of all, we've got all of the Series 1 blind bag figures that I own so far. In a previous video, I unpackaged six of these, including this pelican, and then recently, an awesome guy called Outlander on my Discord sent me this pelican as well. And I'll actually be telling you at the end of the video how you can win one of these pelicans, so stay tuned for that. But today, step aside guys, we've got a full set of Series 1 Halo Infinite blind bags. A full set. And these were sent to me by one of my Patreons. You know who you are, and you are a saint. Let's delve into these today. A quick recap of Halo Infinite Series 1 blind bags. Some really interesting ones, a couple that I'm not totally for. I don't see the point of having a Pelican pilot that's AC. I don't really get, unless it's a hologram, I guess, but I'll see if there is a hologram Pelican pilot in the game. But the Pelican's insane, this Mark 7. I mean, the figures that I'm really looking forward to getting today are the Grunt and the Master Chief. They are so cool. I really am excited to have a Halo Infinite Trans Master Chief. So which, which one should we do first? I mean, I have no idea which ones they are. I've just coded them. And a couple of them you can see I've got tears on because I've just checked that it's the right figure. Let's just delve straight into this one and see what it is. Three, two, one, whoa! The Mark 7. All right, Blue Mark 7. What seems to be the golden star child of Halo Infinite. Mark 7 is like, there's promotional toys of him everywhere. 343 keeps on releasing like render pictures of him. He seems to be their main marketable product this time around. I'm really excited to see what part he plays in Halo Infinite, particularly if the events of Halo Infinite are just like a little bit after Halo 5 Guardians, then how have the UNSC had time and resources to make a new Spartan? Or is this Spartan a culmination of resources that they find when they go back to Reach in the new Shadows of Reach book? I know that book just came out. I'm hoping to get my hands on it pretty soon. Everybody is saying that it is an awesome book, really well written. I haven't seen any spoiler kind of reviews yet. I definitely wouldn't watch one but I've seen that only people are posting spoiler-free reviews at the minute. I've watched a couple of those, they say it is awesome, and I know that there's some banished action in the book. I'm very excited about it. Okay, the Mark 7. People read into Mega Constructs figures a lot. They try and determine whether certain weapons will be in Halo Infinite. I wouldn't say that any of the returning weapons in the Halo Infinite blind bags confirm that they're in Halo Infinite. I think we'll just have to wait and see on that one. And this is the Mark 7, the first time I've found this figure. It's looking really nice. It's got a slightly different colored helmet. I wonder if that's a cast molding issue. The helmet is usually made of a softer plastic because it has to pop onto that ball joint than the other pieces of the figure. So maybe it's a slightly different plastic they've used. Maybe that's why it's a slightly different color. But hey, that looks really good. And the new articulation, they just hold these new articulation brute shots so well. Looks exactly like it's out of the game. Quick recap of the instruction manual for you all. A really pretty design. I love this like mountain that they've got. They've got them all sort of striding out. They're not really attacking each other like on the previous, like Clash on the Ring. That's a really cool. And the Clash on the Ring, a new dawn, battle for the Ark. They all have the figures fighting each other, but this is still awesome. And there it is, the Mark 7. Very nice Spartan. Okay, that is our first blind bag of the day. And I guess, did we get a common to begin with? Yeah, we got a common. I mean, you know, gone are the days where there are secret rares. I did always love, you know, the anticipation of different people around the world finding new translucent figures we didn't even know about. That was always the real treat. All right, three, two, one, figure number two. Hey, it's the Grunt. I am so excited to see this Grunt. It is the new generational Billy. Oh, I guess it's like Covertop's Billy or Special Forces Billy. <laughs> because we already have the new Billy the Grunt that comes in the Mongoose and the Turret Takedown. But I guess this is the new Billy. And cool, it comes with little studs that you pop onto its tank. That's a really nice feature. Makes it way more 3D. I'm, oh, I'm a huge fan of that. Very cool. And we've got the new plasma grenades. They haven't changed the design literally since the start of Mega Bloks, but they just have no need to. But this time, 
they've got a sort of glassed, see-through, light blue effect. And that, you know, that looks like more, the plasma grenades in Halo Infinite look like they're like splashy, like splash plasma. So that makes sense. It's like a bl light blue sort of watery color. I really like those. Wow, what a nice figure. And so, it's so large. That is huge. I mean, uh, is that too big? Is that is that way too big? I don't know. The scale is a bit off. Mega Constructs have kind of lost their way with the scale, especially with the Marines literally being taller than Spartans. Like, what is that all about? That is not cool. All right, so two blind bags down. I like how they give you different colored base plates. I think that's the first set to ever do that. Figure number three. Three, two, one. Who's it gonna be? Did you guess right? It's the Marine. There we go. Whoa, hello. That just went on the floor. Oh, that went really far away. Marine head recovered. Let's build this boy up. I guess it's not really Chips Dubo anymore. I know I wanna, like, I really wanna continue the meme, but I don't think this guy is Chips Dubo. I think that guy, like, I don't know how many games they had the guy voice acting for him. I think it was probably Halo 1, 2, and 3. Maybe he's in reach. Again, the assault rifle comes with this little scope. It's a cool detail. At first I thought it was useless, but then you realize that there are several different scopes, and then it becomes like actually a really cool thing because you can alternate scopes on your weapons. All right, slide that helmet on. It's something with the Marines I had never considered that I wanted before, but now Halo Infinite Marines are out, I'm like, oh yeah, interchangeable helmets is a really cool idea. You have to really force the torso on, or you'll find his torso just comes apart later on, like maybe a, a week down the line. Okay, there we go. Comes with a new assault rifle, a nice desert base plate. That's a badass Marine. And I commented in my last video, I would like Mega Bloks to just alternate the skin tones of these Marines occasionally. You don't even have to advertise it on the packaging, just have your Marines come with different skin tones. It really wouldn't be a difficult thing, just different head molds. Okay, next one, what does this feel like? Does it feel like a rare figure? I can feel chest plate. Oh no, I think I know which one this must be. Three, two, one, bingo, bango. It's the translucent yeah, pelican pilot. Little bro hammer. Bro hammer de doo. There we go. Halo Infinite, it's come out with some controversy. People have complained about quite a lot. People complain about quite a little too much. I mean, 343 just announced that like all the colors in Halo Infinite, the customization for the Spartans, vehicles, weapons, won't be like primary and secondary colors. They'll be like single color palette swaps or something. And I just, you know, when I get that kind of news, I sit back and I say, this is out of my control. I'm gonna see how this turns out. I'm gonna wait for more details. But no, the internet just rips 343 apart. And you know, if I was to spell one concern about Halo Infinite, it would be that no matter what game comes out, people will just hate on it. And that's that's that that will be upsetting for me. If, if day one launch, everybody just starts hating on it, and I'm like, I don't even know what your problem is. That will be, that will be an issue. All right, he comes with the new sidekick pistol and this really cool light sort of soft plastic belt, like really engineer kind of belt. And that signifies that we're halfway through the blind bag openings. Which figure are you most excited about in this set? Which are you looking forward to getting your hands on? or which have you already got your hands on and you think it's awesome. Three, two, one, there we go. Yellow Gungnir, and once again, pieces are flying off the table. And one thing I've been complimenting Mega Constructs a lot with recently is having a variety of colors between the top and the bottom of each torso. It really makes the figure stand out, makes it pop, makes it beautiful. I hope you have been enjoying all my videos recently. I've got a collab with Toa of Ultimate Doom coming out really soon, and then after that, a couple more reviews and unboxings and a couple new travel blocks. There is a lot of really cool stuff happening. But I do notice, guys, that a very small percentage of you are actually subscribed to this YouTube channel. Please do make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. It really does help me out because I'm growing a lot at the minute. This is my part-time job and everything is going swimmingly. I want more and more people to enter the Mega Constructs domain. It's the place to be. And the figure to be is this elite. That did not really make sense. But the, the Elite is my favorite figure of Halo Infinite Blind Bags. I mean, maybe the Grunt is the new favorite. I am such a big fan of this Elite. I think this metallic purple is gorgeous. Any metallic colors, 
metallic green, metallic purple, metallic blue, I'm always a big fan of. I don't mind the elites being really tall. I think they are just such lanky characters. Like, they can be tall. I don't know about my grunts being that massive, but hey, I'm not the designer at Mega Bloks, so what do I know? Mega Bloks, if you ever want me to design your sets, hit me up. You are not really very easy to get hold of. I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but well, the longtime fans of Mega Bloks, Mega Constructs, the day that Mega Bloks got bought by Mattel was the day they went dark. And you can get in touch with a couple of them on their website, but like, there's no real way to like actually talk to Mega Bloks anymore, which is a shame. RIP Tim Mega. <laughs> Tim at Mega Bloks was just the coolest guy. All right, look at that elite. I mean, this elite, Every time I see customs of this thing, I have to double check that it isn't like a McFarlane figure or something. It's so poseable, like it looks like a massive toy. It's so badass. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got a really shaky bag, which I'll save for last. It's obvious what this might be. I can't believe it got saved to last. That's pure luck. Here we go, three, two, one. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. AC Master Chief. I think the figure that I was most excited about by far, the Elite and the Grunt are awesome. The Marine's pretty good. The Gungnir has some beautiful level of detail to it. But I am an absolute sucker for AC Master Chiefs. I mean, my very first blind bag figure ever was the Series 1 AC Master Chief. And it's been a journey since then. The road to Halo Infinite is that much longer, but these figures are really building my hype more and more. I know all the people that watch the domain are really awesome people, like, they're really nice. But, like, if you ever see a dev post on Twitter or something, or a community update, don't rip them apart. These guys at 343, they've already had to delay the game by a year, and they don't need to be hearing people complain. We've got one more figure today. Well, I say it's a figure. We've got one more bag today. I've saved the most buildable to last, I guess. Halo Infinite Pelican, baby. Let's speed build this. Boom. The Halo Infinite Pelican times three. <laughs> if you would like to win this Halo Infinite Pelican, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe and hit that bell, and then comment down below saying, Bro Hammer Boys. <laughs> <laughs> and Brohammer will fly this pelican over to your house free of charge. Ladies and gentlemen, eight Halo Infinite figures and vehicle, I guess, seven figures in a vehicle from Halo Infinite. Right, th these are a phenomenal set. Like, just such a beautiful wave, such a mix of UNSC versus Covenant, Spartans versus Infantry, and then this pelican to top it off some excellent metallic colors. I definitely wouldn't have included two see-through figures, but if you want to learn more about my thoughts, check out tomorrow's video, a full review of this set. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain, and the Pelican is signing off.